2018's official. She just declared it unconstitutional. Hell yeah, Trump. On Sunday, Homeland Security Secretary Kirst Jim Nielsen criticized a Barack Hussein Obama appointed federal judges order reinstating DACA as offensive for even suggesting that ending the said program is racist. In addition, she went as far as to rightly declare DACA unconstitutional and unapologetically affirm that her oath of office is to follow the U.S. Constitution. Nielsen appeared on the show Fox News Sunday with Chris Wallace discussing various issues facing the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, but of course, a large majority of the interview concerned the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA. DACA is an amnesty program for 800,000 illegal aliens announced by then-President Barack Obama and developed by former Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano. DACA, which is a predecessor of an even wider program named APA was based on the same legal argument but instead covered over 4 million illegal aliens. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit ruled that DAPA was illegal and once President Trump was inaugurated, the federal government under his order and that of Attorney General Sessions, dropped the remaining legal appeals and let the larger program lapse. Vibriant Bart DACA amnesty chain migration would exceed four years of U.S. births. New York City, New York, the Democrats' draft Dream Act amnesty would likely add as many chain migration foreigners to the United States population as are added by the total number of Americans who are born in four years' time. As House and Senate Republicans, Democrats, the big business lobby, the cheap labor industry, and the open borders lobby have teamed up to push an amnesty for potentially millions of illegal aliens who are enrolled and eligible for the President Obama created Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA, program. The impact the move would have on Americans would be likely unprecedented. Under the current legal immigration system, immigrants who are given a pathway to U.S. citizenship are eventually allowed to bring extended family members, children, their parents, siblings, and extended family members to the country. This process, which makes up more than 70 percent of the current legal immigration, is what's known as chain migration. Research by the Migration Policy Institute MPI, reveals that under a DACA amnesty deal, between about 800,000 and 3.5 million illegal aliens could be eligible for legalization to permanently remain in the U.S. of those, MPI notes that 1.5 million of the estimated 3.5 million would be allowed to obtain U.S. citizenship. According to Princeton University researchers Stacy Carr and Marta Tienda, newly naturalized Mexican immigrants in the U.S. bring an average of six foreign relatives with them. Therefore, should all 1.5 million amnesty to legal aliens bring six relatives each to the U.S., that would constitute a total chain migration of 9 million new foreign nationals entering the U.S. Chain migration of potentially 19 M foreign nationals would follow amnesty for legal aliens. Amnesty for illegal aliens would lead to unprecedented chain migration of upwards of 10 million foreign nationals, under current law. If the number of amnesty to legal aliens who gained a pathway to citizenship under an amnesty plan were to rise to the full 3.3 million, and if each brought in three to six foreign family members, the chain migration flow could range from 9.9 .9 million to 19.8 million foreign nationals coming to the U.S. This chain migration flow triggered by a DACA amnesty, where an end to chain migration is not coupled with a plan would be more than double the number of babies born in the U.S. every single year, which stands at about 4 million a year. Should a DACA amnesty trigger a chain migration flow of 19 million foreign nationals, it would be more than quadruple the number of American births every year. The chain migration of a DACA amnesty would potentially outpace the populations of American cities like New York City, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Houston. Such a chain migration would boom the number of foreign-born residents in the U.S. to a historic high. Currently, the foreign-born population is already at historic levels, reaching 44 million this year with no end in sight as legal immigration reductions to give relief to America's working and middle classes are stalled in Congress. Trump has previously stated that an amnesty deal for DACA illegal aliens would have to include an end on chain migration in order to stop surges of legal immigration to the U.S., 
though it remains unclear how many Republicans would be willing to break from their big business donors to help pass a law to end chain migration. Most recently, a group of senators released legislation known as the SECURE Act that would end chain migration, thus reducing legal immigration to 500,000 admissions a year to give relief to Americans, but couples the pro-American immigration reform with an amnesty for DACA illegal aliens. Nearly 120,000 foreign nationals have been allowed to enter the U.S. since 2005, despite coming from countries designated as state sponsors of terrorism, including Iran, Syria, and Sudan, Breitbart News reported. Chain migration imported 120k foreign nationals from terrorist funding countries since 2005. Nearly 120,000 foreign nationals have been allowed to enter the U.S. since 2005 despite coming from state sponsors of terrorism. In total, about 9.3 million foreign nationals have entered the U.S. since 2005 because of chain migration, making it the largest driver of legal immigration to the country. As Breitbart News reported, chain migration makes up more than 70 percent of all legal immigration with every two new immigrants bringing seven foreign relatives with them. What we all need to keep in mind is the fact that almost a million illegals who would be covered under DACA would account for another 23 new immigrants each, because of the idiotic laws concerning chain migration. That would mean that DACA would add another 19 million people to the U.S. That would most certainly mean another 18 million Democrat voters in the future many of which are located in the Republican stronghold of Texas. If the GOP ever does lose the state of Texas there will never be another Republican president again. And if you believe Texas isn't in play? Let me remind you that California went to Nixon, even in 1960, and then to Reagan twice and George H. W. Bush in 1988. Once Reagan's amnesty hit we lost California forever. Please share if you agree DACA is unconstitutional.